Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel VKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the most confusing topic in UDS, that is physical and functional addressing. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is UDS, what is physical and functional addressing, how to configure physical and functional addressing in DCM. Those all are we are going to discuss in this video. First, we can start with what is UDS protocol? UDS is nothing about, it is a unified diagnostic service. It is a standard protocol used in the automotive industry for communication between tester and ECU. So, diagnostic tester is a kind of a tool which will send the diagnostic request. The famous one is KenoE and Canalyzer. And server is nothing about our ECU. So, whenever the tester send a diagnostic request with SID and data, then ECU will first check completely about the request. If everything is fine, then it will respond with SID plus 40 along with the data. If the request is not correct, then it will send the negative response. The negative response will identify with 7F. So, what is the purpose of UDS protocol? This will mainly use to read and clear diagnostic trouble code. That's where 19 and 14 services are coming in the picture. And this will be used to perform ECU reprogramming. It is flashing and it is used to access ECU data, sensors or parameter via 22 servers. And it will perform routine test and actuator control. So, if you want to understand what is UDS is, UDS is a universal language that lets a diagnostic tester talk to vehicle ECU for troubleshooting, flashing and testing. And next we can start to understand about what is addressing types in UDS. Addressing type is nothing about how diagnostic requests sent to an ECU, for that how the ECU is going to respond. So, it will tell that whether the message is meant for a specific ECU or for a group or all ECUs. So, there are two main addressing types. One is physical addressing, another one is functional addressing. Physical addressing is nothing about, it is a one-to-one -one communication. For an example, I am going to talk to somebody, that is physical addressing. Functional addressing is nothing about one-to-many communication, that means to all ECU. You can take one example, physical request ID is configured with 0x7e0 and functional request ID is 7df. This is just an example. What is physical addressing? Physical addressing is nothing about tester will talk to a particular ECU. How one person will talk to another person via WhatsApp chat. So, the tester is going to talk to a particular ECU. And this is a, it will use the unique identifier or address that is called as physical address. The usage of the physical address is when the tester wants to communicate with single ECU. For an example, you want to read the DTC from an engine ECU, flashing software to a particular specific ECU. So, mainly physical addressing will be used in the testing side after done the development. So, the response is the addressed ECU must always respond. So, here use will we'll use the dedicated CAN ID for that ECU. That's what I have mentioned about physical request ID. Here you can mean about 7E0. This is the configuration steps for to configure or you can identify this is the way people have to configure inside the project. So, this configuration will be done in DSL layer. When you already well aware about it, DCM has three sub layers. One is DSL, DSD and DSP. So, the physical and functional addressing configuration will be done on DSL. See here, mainly it will be taken care of the configuration parameter in DCM DSL protocol RX address type. So, this will be configured under DCM DSL protocol RX. So, how you can identify whether it is a physical or functional, you have to use here a macro DCM physical type. And next one is, we have to configure the DCM DSL protocol RX PDU ID. And we have to configure the protocol RX channel ID. But very important thing is the DCM DSL protocol RX address type. So, this is informing to the ECU whatever the request comes that is physical or functional. And what is functional addressing? Functional addressing is nothing about, as I said, the tester is going to send the communication to everybody. That means to group of ECU, which will the support the requested service. The use case here is, it will be typically used for broadcast queries. Example, requesting read DTC from all ECU, or you want to clear the DTC, or you want to perform a flashing in all the ECUs. And all those cases, functional addressing will be used. 
the response is only the ecu that support the requested service will respond and here also we'll use as a functional can id that multiple ecus listen to and how we can configure the functional type configuration in the same way how we have done it in a physical here if you see in your project if you use the dcm functional type then that means the particular configuration for a dcm functional type and here you can see the protocol rx pdu id as well and whatever the configuration parameter we have seen especially the dsm D, dcm dsl protocol rx address type here you can see that so this is for select the addressing type of the reception channel so physical addressing is used for one to one communication and functional addressing is used for one to many communication so the range is functional type or physical type functional type is indicate one and physical type is indicate zero and there we have used rx pdu id here so that is the identifier of the pdu that is used for this reception channel so what are the key points you have to remember whenever you are thinking about physical addressing and functional addressing so obd communication will always be done in the functional addressing mode and physical addressing means it's one to one it's quite unicast functional addressing means it one to many broadcast or multicast and address type is configured per dcm DS, dsl protocol rx pdu id in case of functional addressing the dsd submodule shall suppress the negative response for nrc 11 12 31 7e and 7f hopefully you get the clarity about what is physical addressing and functional addressing and this is one of the important question also when you are going to attend the interview if you are a beginner to automotive industry then this understanding is very much important and also if you are an experienced engineer and you can see it in your project how the configuration done and how whether the physical how it is configured and functional how it is configured those all are will be helpful thank you so much for your time to watch this video if you really like it please subscribe our youtube channel and also share it with your friends thank you so much have a nice day